the uh, value of CT scan in workup process of a stroke patient is uh, essential. This is the first tool that we use to diagnose the stroke patient. I found IMR an astonishing technology. With IMR technology, I can much more accurately point out bleeding in the brain. Uh, and second, it's easier to see the very early signs of stroke. We can actually measure the density of the blood clot and it doesn't disappear in the surrounding noise that is present in conventional CT imaging. So I can distinguish if the patient does or does not have early signs of acute stroke, then I can make the best decision for the patient. So in such cases, we can actually shave off that 10-15 minutes of the door to groin time, which is more important for the patient because every minute the patient may lose 2 million brain cells the other advantage of iterative reconstruction is that by decreasing noise, you consequently need uh, less radiation on the images. The reconstruction time is not more usually than five minutes. Uh, it doesn't uh, delay our workflow. Most of those that have trained in radiology in the last few years are actually used to looking at noisy images. Now with iterative reconstruction, as it started, what it does, it decreases noise. Now, one of the issues that occurs that for doctors is hard to get used to it, that the images look quite different than we're used to with noisy images. Uh, but what we have found is that there is actual improvement in the image quality. The edges are better enhanced. I can differentiate one tissue from the other. One argument by those physicians who say that the image is different, that they think that it takes some information away, it does not. It provides you the information. You just need to pick it up. I would not run a stroke practice where early recognition of stroke is so absolutely necessary without having a reconstruction algorithm similar to IMR from Philips. When colleagues from around the country and also around the world ask me, my answer is, if they choose this type of system that we use, the ICT-256, they're not going to be making a mistake. They're going to be able to uh, do all of the clinical aspects of CT, which are common to every hospital, and they're going to obtain high-quality images, they're going to be able to achieve uh, rapid workflows, and they're not going to be disappointed. Innovation and you. Philips.